Good morning everyone, it's the end of May and I'm back hiking on the Cleveland Way. I'm in Osmotherley right now, which is at the western edge of the North York Moors National Park. And today I'm just going to do it in a couple of miles, we'll see how far I get. Okay, I've barely left Osmotherley and I've come to a little diversion, which is the footpath to Ladies Chapel. I'm just going to take a little walk up to it. Hopefully it's not really any more than a 10 minute walk or so. Ah, some bluebells are out. Now, part of this chapel, or maybe one of its rededica rededications, was in 1515, apparently by Queen Catherine. When I was walking towards Mother Lake, you saw the um, Queen Catherine Hotel, which is a pub. Um, and Queen Catherine was the first wife of Henry VIII. And she was actually married to his old brother, Arthur, the Prince of Wales, but he died. So, this really annoys me. England was so close to having a King Arthur, but he died. Henry VIII wanted to divorce her because they had trouble having children survive infancy. And he couldn't get a divorce because the Pope, who I think was Clement VII, was pretty much held hostage by Charles V, who at that time was the most powerful man in Europe. I think he had by that time pretty much all of Spain, um, Germany, Italy. He was a very powerful man and if he didn't want to grant a divorce then the Pope couldn't grant a divorce and that had repercussions of having the um, English Reformation and the Protestants Church of England. So yeah, that's a little bit of history of England. Right, let's head back down onto the Cleveland Way which is running below me and then we'll skirt around this hill. That one's fast asleep. Quite a few pretty young ones. There's a bit of a wind blowing up here. It was quite nice, though a little overcast. I didn't even notice this until I got up right next to it. How much attention I've been paying. This is a uh, uh, British Telecoms station. And then on the side, it's quite nice. You can see a mast all the way in the distance. Where is it? There. Now, isn't that a lovely view? These hills over here. Scarf Nick behind, which was that steep 
um, cutting the hills I went down. It's an old um, glacial overflow from when the water would just run down the hills you know, thousands of years ago when there were glaciers here and uh, it's been used by um, cattle, it's an old grove road there's still a cattle grid going across where I crossed right, so we're just going through this bit there the woods now, it's quite nice it's a small stream for a bridge I guess if it's been rained a lot, it'll be a bit deeper. I'm not wearing my big boots today, these trainers aren't very waterproof. Well, Cleveland Way just heads up here before going up round hill. Doesn't look that big of a climb. It's actually only 10 past 9 in the morning and I set off from Osmo for around um, 7. I woke up at 5 this morning to drive out here. So it feels like I've been going a lot longer than I used to have. Um, let's just have a little bit of a snack and then keep on walking. This is the cutest little rabbit. You're hiding from me. Gosh, that uh, climb was tiring in the end. It was really steep to begin with, quite a few switchbacks. I kept stumbling and then it became less steep, but it just kept going until I managed to get pretty much to the top. It's a little bit of an incline here. I can see the smith can. Just, just ahead. They used to have jet here, if you've ever heard the expression, it's jet black. And you know what colour we're talking about. Jet is um, sort of, kind of coal, in that it's um, old trees that have been compressed down over uh, a long, long time. And that's been mined here and also just picked up off the beach. In, in places like Whitby and then made in jewellery and um, Whitby became quite famous for it. Queen Victoria used um, Whitby jet as part of her mourning dress when um, she was in mourning for Prince Albert. Uh, but it goes back as far as the Romans. The Romans used um, jet from around here, from Yorkshire, and they probably, they probably um, took it overland to Herboricum, which was the Roman name for York. So they used jet all over the Roman Empire and it, even as far it got traded into Germany and places like that and even going back into the um, Bronze Age or before you know 3,000 years or more ago they found it in burial ground so yeah people have been using jet here for a long time I'm assuming these are spoil heaps some sort of man-made heap from the, the mining process from the alum because the, the Italians had um, kind of the monopoly on it. But then someone in England managed to, with great trouble, get in on the action. And then someone made a, an easy way to synthesize it in the 1800s, and then you stop needing it to be used in dyes altogether after that. But for a while, hard labour, people with just pickaxes just hammering your way into the earth just to, just to mine something for just to get used in someone's address right, I'm not sure where we're heading down I think this is Carlton Bank which means I must have walked straight past the glider school without even noticing it 
well, clay bank is further than I thought. I thought it'd only be around two miles instead of three and a half. Uh, really debating whether they keep going because wherever I go, I've got to do it back again because my car is an awesome way. If I go all the way to clay bank, I'll have done just over 10 miles. So we turn and I've done over 20. If I stop here, it'll be only a 14 mile day. What do I want to do? If I regret it, I regret it. I instantly regretted doing this climb. We'll see what it's like on the way down. Well, here comes the rain. So, I'm gonna have to get one more proof on. Hopefully it'll get me a bit warmer. It's meant to be a, a burial ground, well, a burial mound. Drake how one of these things from here, but I didn't quite see anything that looked like a mound. I think we're heading down now. I'm on my way up the third climb from leaving Carlton Bank now, on the way to Clay Bank. Huh. This one looks like a place of rock climbing. Yeah, these look like some pretty good rock climbing rocks. A few little stacks there. Well, here I am at Clay Bank. It's a decent enough place to have as a halfway point. Yeah. The clay bank. Well, I've made it back to Osmotherly. The time is 10 to 7 at night, so I've been gone 11 hours 40. I'm ready to drive home, so let's leave it for now, and hopefully, I'll see you again soon.